You can find him in the desert, you can find him by the sea. He'll climb a rocky mountain, he will nap under a tree. If you come along with pups, it's about discovery. So let's hit the trail to see what we will see. Well, hey, grandchildren, it's Pops, and today the trail brings us to the beach right here in Oregon on Cannon Beach, and that behind me is the famous Haystack Rock. They call it Haystack Rock because it looks like a haystack. And to right now, we're at the lowest of low tides. What does that mean? Well, it means that the ocean behind us is way out there, and we have all this sand to play on, and when the tide is really high and it comes in, right where we're standing, well, there's seawater everywhere here. So we picked a good time to go over here and we're gonna see what's in the tide pools that are exposed once the tide goes out. Let's go. Haystack Rock is over 15 million years old and it's home to over eight species of birds, including the tufted puffin and the black oyster catcher, which are a species of conservation concern because they're really endangered. So we want to take really good care of them and teach people about them so they know how to protect them. Um, our oyster catchers just had three baby chicks right there in the center. And uh, our tufted puffins live at the very, very top of Haystack Rock. Uh, here at Haystack Rock, we also have tide pools, which are home to lots of different creatures, including anemones and hermit crabs. And um, sometimes we see octopus and sea cucumber, which is really cool. We also have lots of sea slugs and snails. Okay, so right here we have the ochre sea star, and it's a purple sea star. And this one is pretty big, so it is pretty old and right next to it is a smaller sea star and if you look closely you can see on the bigger sea star there's small holes and that's uh, from a disease called sea star wasting and it's affecting the whole west coast and it's melting the sea stars so all the sea stars are dying off and that's why we ask people not to touch the sea stars because they're really endangered. Scientists like us, we call sea stars sea stars because they're technically not fish. They, uh, they're not a fish, so we don't call them starfish. So right here, these are called aggregating anemones. And what's really cool about them is how they reproduce by splitting into two. So these are all clones of each other. And if you look at this line right here in between them, that separates the different colonies. So these two are two separate colonies and they can fight each other for more space. So one of these anemones, they're closed up right now, but they'll open up underwater and they'll have a really long tentacle that they use to fight off the other anemones. <laughs> yeah, these are giant green sea anemones. They can get a lot bigger than that. And that one's partly open because it's partly underwater but when they're out of water like this one, they close up. And you can see that they're covered in bits of rock and shell. That's what they use as sunscreen. Oh. And these are open because they're underwater? Yeah. They're open right now underwater and they have the big green tentacles that they use to catch fish. So if you were to touch it, it would feel kind of sticky and that's it trying to catch you. It's trying to uh, pull your finger into its mouth. But since human skin is too tough, we, it won't hurt us. It will just feel sticky. You should come out to Haystack Rock to see all the cool creatures and to meet all the fun employees that work here. And we'll be happy to take you on a little tide pool tour and show you all the cool creatures and the birds that live on Haystack Rock. Well, hey, grandchildren, it's Pops. We finished a very cool tour of Haystack Rock and the tide pools. And thanks to our friend Kindness, we've learned all about giant green anemones and sea stars and everything that lives around them. We'll see you next time on Pops on the Trail. It's been fun on the trail. Thanks for sharing.